boom boom this is Ken everybody welcome back to the channel right we got a bit of destiny child of today so we got a few things to cover so let's go ahead and jump right into it all right I began some uh, messages from some people concerning uh, the destiny child's setup world boss rag and break uh, and break everything down a little bit here so that uh, uh, give you the skitty so to speak of what's going on I've been playing the game for long enough so I know what it is I mean I've got pretty much max characters uh, not some of the newer ones because I've been uh, getting a little bit sold with my crystals, but um, uh, what exactly is you're looking for? All right, so the Ragnar Break is a raid. Anytime you see raid, it's 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 uh, referring to Ragnar Break. Uh, anytime you see a world boss, it's referring to world boss, obviously. Uh, but no, uh, you're not going to hear. Uh, you're not going to your soul characters. You're not going to say 15% uh, damage in Ragnar Break. They're going to say 15% damage or some type of buff in raids. That is what they mean. A raid is when you go in with one. Uh, see raid shot see raid purchase the raid tickets okay so that's what they mean by raid uh, it's so whenever drag to break it's a raid all right so second do not focus on this character this is okay you're obvious this is the boss level skill set for him to be a boss he needs a totally awesome skill set so he can totally annihilate you so this is not what you're going to get you're going to get a, you're going to get the skill for uh, Juno is much less dynamic uh, and it's okay okay it's not bad but as you can see um, skills as you can see it's nowhere near as good as the world boss okay so he would be good for he'd be good for a light team okay because he would reduce the skill charge speeds on dark characters so uh, if you're doing story mode or something or you're looking for some way to beat some dark a dark team there you go okay but uh, he's really not going to be used for anything else okay that's just just okay so you're going to get th you get two copies you get three copies of him for free you'll be able to get a fourth copy so you'll be able to get him one and put two limit breaks on him okay uh, they give you that free don't spend any more uh, soul crystals doing the summon for him it's just not worth it uh, never I've never don't, 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 okay. What you want is the other character. Every event, World Boss, right, has another character associated with it, and that's the character you're looking for. In this case, it's Lady T. Waz, okay? Lady T. Waz is an excellent character, and she has an excellent skill set, okay? Uh, just g let me give you an example, all right? This is a character you want to use in this event she was not she was the secondary character in the event okay let's go way back here this right here is another character you want to use in this event she was not the main character in the event this is another character you might want to use in this event she was not the main character in the event she was not the world boss or the Ragnar brick boss this is another character right here that you would want to use she has not been an offered at anything yet but as you can see from these characters right here they're at one okay I got those by a pool on the draw because she is not offered so that's what you're gonna get all right so that's where you're at now she will be offered, I think she'll be, they offer her uh, in the, the six on the Ragnar break. I think you have a cop chance to get her. But mainly the best way to get her uh, and the only, is in the draw. So you have to spend crystals to get the character. In this case, the character you want to get is Lady t -Waz. As you can see, I've made six attempts at Lady t that have been unsuccessful getting Lady t -Waz. I'm not happy right now about that. Um, but Lady, yeah, so Lady t -Waz is the actual character that you want to get for this particular event okay this is her she's a dark supporter all right um let me see i think we can get her skill set here do do where do we get her skill set at lady t was oh no 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 we might not be able to get lady t was a skill set anywhere inside of here because she's not offered <laughs> you can only get her by the pool and i have not managed to pull her Thus, I have been unsuccessful in obtaining Lady t -Waz. So, But as you can see, so remember when these events come up, it, the one you want to focus on is the character 
it has draws. Now she has what that's a one for one draw right here for Lady T was okay. So after you get her here, this one will close. But as you can see, she's in the premium pickup summon. She's in another summon here, okay. Uh, so you, you, there's multiple ways to get her. So it's not like you're going to be locked out. You're just going to have to spend some crystal. And as you can see, here are the, some of the characters. Uh, Rag to break best childs. These are some of the suggested childs that you use. And as you can see, they're all in there. Okay. She hasn't been offered yet, but I, I, I did manage to get my hands on her and with a pool. Uh, uh, I do, of course, have uh, the other three, but they're not except for um, she's she's the best healer in the game. Okay, so you definitely want to be uh, uh, attempting to get her because um, she has an awesome skill set. So this is Neptune. Uh, she works for PvP, uh, especially really good in PvP, and that's because she heals the. She she focuses first on the characters with the lowest hit points. Okay, sometimes you have uh, what I like to call free range healers, and they basically just heal somebody or maybe two people. But she focuses specifically on the lowest hit points for the multiple characters, which is why she's considered uh, by most and by me to be the best healer in the game. I use her in my PvP team. 90% uh, of PvP teams have her in them. So she's a character that you want to build up. I've got her at, uh, uh, I've got her, finally got her finished um, in terms of, in terms of bringing her up. So now it's just a matter of, and I've got her skill that's maxed out. So now it's just a matter of finishing her ignition. Uh, and I'll be working on her ignition more often. So, yeah, so that's a, another one that you want to work on in terms of that, just off topic here, is Thisbe. Thisbe is also, oh, wait, there she is. Thisbe is also top-notch character. Um, so, you know, focus on her as well. Uh, she, 90% uh, of PV teams will have her in it as well. Okay, so Neptune and Thisbe, okay? So, but no, back to that. So, yeah, you never want to focus on the world boss character. Too many people... Um, Get the character, and then they start going for him to get him six. I mean, if you got a lot of crystal, go ahead and knock yourself out. But really focus on this character, because this character, the secondary character, will be used in next. As you can see, they're using three of the best characters uh, in this to be using on this world boss against Juno are from previous events, and they were not the character. They were the secondary character. Okay. And I did the one pull on them and got them. And then uh, usually get another copy of them throughout at the end of it. I'm pretty sure at the seventh or something like that, they throw up a copy of that character so that you can get her. Um, and then uh, other pools, you can get them as well. But yeah, so so that's what you want to focus on. So what you want to do is uh, pull on this, get her. You'll get one copy of her, then it closes. Then start focusing on this. This is a rate up, so this is what you want to be doing. And you want to get as many copies of her as you can. Okay, because she is going to be useful in raids and world bosses. Okay, that's just what that's the way it goes. So even though you know, so you can build them. I build. I, I, you know, I used to be really big on that. Um, I would get the the, the main character, uh, I, and I would pull on that that secondary character and max them out. I did that for seven. One of my first uh, successfuls uh, was Citri. Okay, um, the world boss uh, extraordinaire. I think she's light, the first version of Citri. Um, uh, it, she, yeah, she, she, she had an awesome, there she is right there. Um, lovey dovey Citri. Uh, if you look at her skill set, um, light type out on world bosses, 3,000 added. Okay, so she was, as you can see, I maxed her out. She was not the main character, she was a secondary character in the event. Okay, so it, it, it's, you know, they don't really point that out to you, but you're looking for the secondary character in the event not the actual world boss or Ragnar boss. You want to focus on this character, which is your secondary character in the drawing. Okay, so t -Waz is what you want. Okay, be careful with t -Waz because when you get her to S rank, she has an extremely provocative outfit that may enact banned sensors upon YouTube, so be very careful about that. All right, so um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the skinny on that. Now, Rag to break, your, the key is, as I've said, is get to the Slayer. I'm at Slayer now. Okay, when you get to Slayer, you'll see all these options here. Uh, and you can hit it once, go to the next one, hit it once, go to the next one. So you can do bunches of them, bunches of them. Uh, and that's where you're going to get your points. Okay. Second thing you want to be focusing on, I finished this up today. Okay. 
as I said, you wanted to get to 300 and 350. 300 snatched me the spa outfit. Okay. For do I get 200? 2019. Two th 200 snatched me the spa outfit for Neptune, and it snatched me up this another copy of Neptune. Okay, because she's a 2019. 2020 is Thisbe. So 2020 will net you a spa outfit on 300 for Thisbe. And 350 will net you a Thisbe copy of her because she is the actual, as you can see, she is right here. I mean, there's other, it's a just select. So you can, of course, select whoever you want. But my advice would be go for Neptune and go for Thisbe. Okay, uh, and get their spa outfits as well. Uh, it has enabled me to speak the spa outfit um, for my PvP team. I now have their spa outfit. So I can, you know, I got them in the spa and I use them on a constant basis. So this right here is my PvP team. Currently, it'll be changing. And as you can see, I have the outfits for Neptune and Thisbe now. And I always had it for Eve and Mafdet and for Dana. Tetsuko uh, Temagami is um, Dana's uh specialty outfit uh so that's why she does not look like a normal dana uh and she's not called dana <laughs> but that is dana okay so this is my team dana math uh eve uh thisby and neptune and i'm in the process of uh, you know ign igniting all of them i'll show you them here is that a devil rumble right here they are so dana math eve thisby neptune all right, so um, uh, yeah, so that's 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 the focus on um, what you want to do. That's why you want to complete this. It's very it, they don't offer select boxes very often, so when they do offer it, you definitely want to do that. Also, please be doing this premium attendance. You just get it. You're gonna get attack cores, defense cores. You're gonna get a lucky box core at the end for an attack. I mean, you're gonna walk away with three or four attack cores from this. That's ridiculous not to do it. It was free. I don't know if it was an accident, <laughs> but I got it in the shop. Um, it was in the time to offer. Uh, it was in just special right here. Ignition core support attendance. Um, they normally don't offer these for free, I don't think. Um, but they offered this one for free. So go into your special and get it. Um, it's a 90 day. Um, it's a 90 day thing. Uh, attendance for 49 days. Okay. So it's a lot of stuff. As you can see, I've been logging, making sure I log in every day. I mean, this is just ridiculous, the stuff they're giving you. Okay, and you've got, you've got like, they give you like 90 days to complete it. It's, and you only need like 48. So you could miss a day and still, you know, still be able to get it. Uh, but you definitely want to complete it simply because you get a, 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 a core, an attack core at the end of it, a full one, not, not, not shards. You know, attack core uh, cores for the ignition, ignition cores cost, cost crystal. Okay, that's the only thing you can do. If you want more, you know, if you want to, if you're short, you know, shards for an attack core, or defense core, or quick core, whatever you're looking for, you got to pay crystals to get it. So it's really nice when you can get uh, multiple copies of them. You're going to walk away with two and three copies of each of the ignition cores if you complete this. So definitely get in there and complete it. All right. Um, uh, you know, I don't, I, I guess, you know, I just stumbled across it. I opened up my shop and, you know, I went and cleared out my daily limited, um, uh, my daily purchase. I purchased this daily, uh, you know, then I went out of it and I came back and there was still a dot, <laughs> you know, the dot that says there's something in there to look at. Went to special and there it was. So I purchased it <laughs> and it says premium attendance. I think they normally offer it. It's paid, but I think just for this event, they gave it to us for free. So that was nice of them. So yeah, so keep, keep focusing on this. This, this, this right here should be your main focus as I've said before. You want to complete this. Okay. Neptune spy outfit and a copy of Neptune or whoever you want to 2019 and, and uh, 2020 get a copy spy outfit for Thisbe and a copy of Thisbe or whoever you want. It is a child select box. So all the childs will come up and you can purchase whatever you need uh, in terms of that. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and give that. People were asking a little bit about it. Um, they weren't exactly sure what it was. Probably new players. We've got quite a few new players, which is excellent. Uh, I love this game. It's a very free to play game. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. Get in there, go ahead and knock this Ragnar Break boss out. But I'm pretty sure when you get to actual um, 
clear the fifth one, you're going to get you're, you'll get some outfits and you'll get a copy. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure you can get T was in here. I'm pretty sure they're off a copy of T was, but you got to get to the sixth, and it's going to be like two hundred or three hundred thousand to purchaser, which is why you need to be in Slayer because Slayer um, will allow you to obtain that many points. Um, also, you want to focus on uh, there's coconut trees in here if you're running a little bit short on completing that event. It should be, I think it's, I think it's, how many days, nine days, eight days left? How many days are left in it? Um, nine days. So, you know, based on what you got to get 350, you can get um, uh, on the paradise, okay, every time you complete after, every time you complete it after the 10th turn, you'll get five that way. Okay, so that, you know, you, you, you can accelerate uh, how you acquire them. And you can purchase five in the Ragnar break. That resets daily. Okay, so you'll be able to get uh, another five of these. So you probably get another 40 from there. So you should be able to complete it. But you definitely want to go for that because that will be a good way to get um, a good way to get, uh, uh, you know, a select. Even if you don't, if you're not going to choose this, or Neptune, ch you know, choose a good child that you got that's a five or something. Or, you know, maybe a child that you don't have, but you want. Um, that's a chance to get them. It's a select, so they give you all the childs. So you, there should definitely be something in there for everybody. Uh, the same with the spy outfit. You know, if you're going to pick a child, choose what child you want to pick and get the spy outfit for it as well, too. It's nice to defog them. It doesn't really give you any more in terms of power or anything, but it's just nice to be able to see what they look like with the spy outfit on. So, that you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, so that's, that's the thing. So, yeah... In all of those events, you don't necessarily want to focus on the world boss, the Ragnar Break. You want to focus on the secondary character. This is the one that will most li more than likely be useful inside future events. Okay, as you can see, the boss right here for Juno. Uh, you know, uh, all of these, all the childs were from previous events, and they were not the main child; they were the secondary child. Okay, so yeah, okay. And if you go look in the Ragnaros and you go look at the top characters, you'll see that they're using them. Uh, I'm not using them simply because I don't have them strong enough. But I'm doing pretty good damage with the team that I've got. I'm using an older team, a slightly older team uh, inside of it. Let me see here. Get Ragnar Break. Uh, and we'll go into Slayer Raid. Uh, I won't do one. Uh, I'm using this team right here. Okay. Motor for some defense. Um, Fredge. Uh, Elizabeth, um, and um, this is uh, the five-star version of Artemis. Don't confuse. Don't get don't get confused with um, with the four-star version of Artemis. This is five-star version of Artemis or Circa Artemis. I'm using her as my leader, so because she does have a pretty good leader skill for that. And then I, of course, have um, Neptune for healing, uh, as most people are using Neptune for healing. As you can see, she's listed as one of the best childs inside of the actual. Summon. Well, they have this summon every time. If you got crystals, it's a good pool one because it's a chance to get some more copies of them. Oh, Artemis. Okay, so she's right there. If you would get her. Um, it, another way to determine when you get the game, you open it up. You say which is the best team to use. Another way to do is simply go into the Ragnar rank. Okay, and choose the top character, and see what characters they're using. And as you can see. They're using the characters from the Ragnar Break Best Child Mission Pass. <laughs> okay, so in the summon pool. So these are the best characters for it. Uh, and uh, this is Tiwaz. And he's using here as a leader. So we right away we know leaders. Okay, see, that's one of the reasons Juno is so tough. He's skill, she's a skill gauge manipulator. Well, she's going to completely reverse that. So that's why Tiwaz would be excellent uh, leader on this particular uh, Ragnar Boss. Okay, so Lady Tiwaz. And she's going to be good for any light, any light, any light boss in world boss or, uh, you know, but as you can see, it says in raids. So she's going to be anytime you're going up against a light boss in a Ragna, you're going to use dark attackers and dark characters. You're going to want to use her as your boss simply because the, or as your leader, simply because of the fact of that buff. So she is the character that you want to get, not Juno. Juno's not a bad character, don't get me wrong, but he's only going to be useful in a light team 
going up against the dark team because his his leader skill is specifically designed to go up against dark type characters okay so but she has raid you know she's going to be a good raid um, leader so she's going to be useful for that and as you can see this guy's already got her uh, almost got enough copies of her and he's already ignitioned her <laughs> which is why he is doing this much damage <laughs> okay so yeah so yeah it's called the Ragnar rank so this will give you an idea and what you can do is you can just you know if you don't have those characters you know go down farther you know uh, and see what some of the other people are using although pretty much everybody seems to be using uh, those characters okay yeah see everybody's using those characters even though they've only but they've got you know you gotta understand these people are, are high level um, you know they probably spend quite a bit on the game so these these people have uh, they can purchase a lot of crystal and do a lot of draws so they can get they can get the top characters um, that they need yeah they're all using the same thing so this this is the best team uh, that you're gonna have out there okay um, so and you know, if you can purchase crystals they can purchase cores so they can ignition their characters a lot quicker but this will give you an idea of what characters to use um, other than if you don't have those characters like I don't well I have them but they're just not built up to where they're you know going to be able to make any real of a difference um, Juno would probably you know level them down pretty fast because they're really not prepared uh, I'll build them up over time you know that's the way I do uh, and then pretty soon once I'll get them up to 65 or 66 and then uh, then I'll ignition them at that point so you know I've got other I've got other ones that I can use at this point uh, you know other characters that I have 66 fully skilled and fully max so it's not that big a deal okay and so just put you know put some dark characters in there uh, if you don't have dark characters uh, just put in the characters that'll do the most damage unfortunately this is a, this boss is extremely he's he's got massive he's got a, it's a it's it's the it's this guard buff that he's got right here what do they call it um what's it called it's a it's a it's a buff that makes him immune to damage He's got a skill that he does zero damage. I'm not sure. It may be coming from, it may be coming from the fortitude, or it could. It might be coming based on the evasion, fifty, uh, the, yeah, an increased invasion to self. So it might be the splash drive. But what it does is you'll you, you'll see you'll see him hitting and you're hitting him and he's getting zero, or he'll come up with a green EVA, which means he evaded the attack. Uh, so you know a lot of the times you're not doing any damage at all, which is completely un uncool <laughs> so uh, uh and the characters that they describe will help to mitigate that to some degree um i'm you know i'm getting like 3.1 uh is all i'm able to get uh because i'm just not doing uh you know a lot of my hits aren't hitting um but uh you know i've got you know i've got uh i've got artemis in there as my leader so that's helping um helping out a little bit because she gives an extra buff to dark characters so that helps out a bit so I'm using her as my leader because of her skill set with the with the leader buff there final uh, final blow plus 15 for dark type battles and in raids it's 20 okay so that's why I'm using her so she's good you know she doesn't do a ton of damage because she's only she's only got two breaks uh, but you know uh, I've got Fred and Elizabeth uh, are my attackers uh, they're doing pretty good I got good soul cartridges on them Neptune's doing pretty. I don't die. Um, I'm, I, this is one of the few times where World Boss, where at the end of it, uh, I was actually alive. All the characters were alive, so uh, I'm definitely having survivability. Just not doing a whole bunch of damage, <laughs> uh, but it, it is what it is. But yeah, so that's that's a, a little bit more of information for those of you who wanted it. Uh, if you're getting interested in Destiny Child, and I would because the devs are very generous in this game. Uh, as long as you focus on playing the game, you know, as often as you can, daily basis, doing your dailies and stuff. You'll get what you need to actually progress through uh, and get multiple copies of stuff. Uh, it just may take a little bit of time to get some of the best characters, uh, but uh, but with you know child select boxes, uh, I've got a bunch of five star tickets. Okay, uh, I'm going to be having uh, we're going to have a little uh, video on that, and I'm going to open up uh, all these tickets. Uh, I got 13, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, a little bit of the actual House of Reincarnation. 
uh, and see if we can get out. Um, what, uh, what you can do is you can put all those childs in here. So Thisbe needs to come out because I've got uh, uh, Thisbe, no, not Thisbe. Thisbe still, I got, no. But Neptune is finished. So I could take Neptune out and, and I could put, I could put, you know, some of those specials, like I could put Artemis in there, okay? And then you could put those characters in these slots and whenever you draw, you're guaranteed to get one of these characters up here. So that's a way you can build them up. And I have used done that on several characters to get the final or the last two characters. So, it, you know, it's just a matter of what you're looking for. Um, like I'm not using Banshee very often, so I could stick Vanguard Lupin in here and I'd be able to get a Kopnik Lupin. Okay. So that's, you know, that's what it is. Uh, you know, and you can put all of them in here. This Oifus. Oifus is actually um, one of the ones that they're suggesting for the World Boss as well, too. So now I have all three of these in here. So I have a chance to get one of them very, you know, very off. So that's another way that you can actually get what you want. Um, you only need six uh, five-star childs. So make sure that you're using a five, you know, when I get copies, uh, I'm getting a lot of copies right now since I have probably 75% of the characters at six. Um, I'm getting a lot of duplicates <laughs> that, you know, really don't have any use for. So um, you you need them for ignition cores and you can use them in House of Reincarnation. Um, so they have uses. So you don't want to use them all the time in House of Reincarnation. You sort of got to choose what you want to do them on. But they give you enough five-star tickets that you have enough to do a little bit of both. Okay. So that's where we're at. All right. So I just wanted to get, put that out there for everyone. Uh, and you can always hit me up for more questions. Uh, in the comments section and uh, I'll try to answer what I can but um, yeah I do like playing Destiny Child uh, it's an enjoyable game uh, but yeah don't focus on the boss focus on the other character that is in the event in this case it's Lady Tiwaz as she will be much more useful in the long term and you'll be able to use her on other stuff okay so thanks a lot for watching Remember to subscribe. Once you've subscribed, you'll see the bell. If you get a bell, you get notified each time I do drop a video. Also, remember to like and share the video as it does help the channel immensely. This is Kenra coming at you from the corner, signing out.